to live my country. I repeated that because I love my country. I loved my country. I cannot say today, can I love my country or not? Today I shame when I heard from someone Afghan or tourist. We were in a track like um, about 100 people in one track. It was very crowded. We traveled um, in seven days. We arrived in Libya with the Sahara. It's very hard. And I was being pushed to, 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 to Europe by the military. We were sent to Europe, got into the boat, said go, I'm she, I'm she, go to Italy. Sometime during the days, the smuggler, some people came and bring us two bottles of waters to do not die. And then, to the third days, they took us in a house. Oh my God. 80 people in a room. They shoot it with the guns each other in a field. Uh, there, there was also who we call it Taj ISIS also. The, uh, our friends also killed there. It's very bad to see the I came to Europe. I had an opportunity to come here because there was no way that I could go back to my country. When I was coming to Libya, I came to Libya through the desert. And I could not go back to the desert because of it was risky. It's one of the most dangerous uh, adventures you ever take, you know. So I, to me, I saw that it, it was the only way that, you know, I could go out of Libya was through the sea. The driver of the boat say, we have driver like to drive there. He was 60 years old boy. Without just, he has a shoe. On the hoods or short. He came to boat and then he drives just 10 meters. He just fall down to the bottom. Okay, bye. He say what? Where do you go? You have to camp. But his friends from far, 10 meters far from the sea, he shoot in the water. Do you want to go or kill you? And the woman said, okay, we go. We didn't know about the boats. We didn't know about everything in this world. When you are uh, uh, proud people in uh, one boat, many peoples, each other the people doesn't know many peoples in the one boat. He knows that he, he go, he's going to die during that time that you have to do. You have to have a little fun and you have to tell them that's going to be okay. They say it's homework, get off the train. I said it's a homework? Really? I thought that I'm in a jail again. I couldn't see anything. I was very sick because in Hamburg, when I entered to hop on from Hamburg, I saw many Afghan people, many Syrians, many Iranian. It was like my city. I thought to myself, "Oh my God, Hamburg was my city." They said uh, this fingerprint is only for the police, for the silence, the silence of the city, not like Dublin. This is, this is. It is, the fingerprint is uh, just for the silence, the, for the police, they said to us. Many people, a lot of people, they do, they give fingerprint. They want to go another countries. And unfortunately, after we gave this fingerprint in Italy, we are still here in obstacles way. Europeans brought war to, 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 you know, to Africa, they destabilized Africa, which is Libya in particular. And now we, we migrated, we come to, uh, to, 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 to Europe as, as uh, migrants. I mean, this to stop shying away from their responsibility. They brought all this, uh, this nonsense.